how's it going? Do you ever order yourself a model car and you've got really high expectations for it and it's it's, it's something you, 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 know, you imagined in your dreams, this wonderful model car and then whenever you get it, it just doesn't live up to your expectations and you're, you're like, uh, you know, I maybe shouldn't have bought that. And then, But then there's other times where you may be looking at model cars uh, coming out, being released, and you're looking at them for sale, and you're uh, you, you, and you're not sure, but and you but for some reason you buy it anyway, and then when you get it, woo! <laughs> it's, it's it's the best thing you ever seen, and I, I, I like it when that happens. <laughs> Where uh, I bought quite a. a few wee models there and uh, lately a few uh, autos and that I've got, I've got in from last month and uh, yeah but the, the one I want to talk about today is the one that I got from uh, th this this month's installment it was just one well I got two of them but as as this baby <laughs> and th this was one of the ones that yeah when I looked at it for uh, initially when Auto released them. I was like, ah, oh, that's for, for uh, fourteen, and yeah, it's a uh, it's an Ismo two seventy R. It's a rare car, but I just wasn't that overly struck on the on the pictures of it. And but then yeah, when I, when I opened it there and, and and I saw it in real life, it's it's like a really really deep piano black, and it's really really clean and uh, glossy. And imagine it's going to be something that's could be easily easily scored so I'll keep the gloves on and uh yeah this model uh, I think's fantastic I think the paintwork is f phenomenal on it uh, very very good and it's you know the wee details and stuff around the bumper the interior you know is very very impressive you know, and for the money that you buy this for a brand new you know that's a very very nice model car and then yeah <laughs> uh, I bought, initially I bought two of them with the intentions of maybe keeping one original and modifying one and then but then I've, I've had a few inquiries but maybe selling the second one so I, but I'm after me, uh, looking at this one today I'm even not sure about that okay let's see I'll, I'll show you let's see add those already listened <laughs> but one thing what I discovered I'll show you a wee clip of a recent the wee ID there what I had to modify and I had to like, demo like the arches check out there with a a tyre from uh, a die cast uh, tuning B uh, that wee 1552 uh, Formula GT wheel and it's got a tyre on it from TK die, TK die cast and uh, what do you see when you pop it under the arch? <laughs> oh, that tucks beautifully <laughs> and for for auto I wish auto would do this on all their models and it was, was remount them arches a wee bit to avoid any accidents there I just <laughs> cut the tape and uh, uh, removed both wheels yeah so we have the, the wheels uh, removed now, and, uh, but and just so you can see, I'll show you here with this wee, uh, all our wee is like a three SDM style wheel. See when you put it into the back arch there, how that tucks beautifully, and <laughs> that's fantastic for me. With likes having the car, the models stanced and stuff like that. So auto, if I can't imagine that you'll ever watch my videos, but if you ever watch one of my videos, this is what I want. <laughs> Ream the arches out of them <laughs> to save me having to do it, and you know, that, that's fantastic. And I've took a wee few wee photos and clips there, so I'll just try and cut this video short in case it goes on too long. And I'll just show you what, it, what I'm talking about. This model is fire, <laughs> and uh, whenever you, whenever you see it with a, a set of wheels on, it's an amazing the difference a set of wheels makes, and. Uh, I predict these here are going to increase in value quite significantly and you're going to find it very difficult to get someone who's actually 
going to sell uh, sell one, and once they get they get around that, pass that recycle of like resellers, the initial resellers, you're going to find it very tough to get one of these. So get one when you can. <laughs> As you can see there, uh, the wee set of wheels and the lowering <laughs> makes a, an awful big difference to the appearance of the, the model. And I think it just makes it outstanding looking. <laughs> Suddenly the, the model that I was unsure about buying or about ordering is one of my favourites. And some of them other things like those wee uh, advent wheels there with you, uh, maybe seen in some of the clips of those wee wheels and I've got the brakes on them now too, is from uh, DMS model spares and yeah uh, it has really captured the, the the look of the advent wheel very very, very well there and, uh, cheers to Chris Miller I'm very pleased with him <laughs> uh, I had planned on picking those work emotion wheels uh, on the, on that model for a long time but I had to do with the wood of them and the it's, it does mean that to get them to tuck in onto the arches nicely, you have to sort of uh, camber, camber them quite a bit. Uh, I'm not sure now. <laughs> those we work on motion wheels, uh, those were sc from Scaled Works. And, uh, and the, the hand cooked tyres and all, they look uh, fantastic, but they, they're possibly just a, a wee bit wide. I uh, also really like those. Uh, those we Formula GTs on it, so I'm um, now I've got that predicament which isn't the worst predicament to have, where it looks good with nearly all the wheels, and I can't decide which ones to actually fit to it and keep on it. <laughs> uh, I don't know. You guys on Facebook will maybe see which ones that'll, that'll be, because I just I don't know. <laughs> I'll try and decide. <laughs> all right. I'll try and keep that video, this video short. I know some of the videos maybe run on a bit, uh, but thanks very much again for watching. Coming now into the, the winter time, I will maybe try and focus the, the Retro Full 82 channel back on uh, the models. Because yes, I'm going to be spending more time in the house now. And yeah, I'm going to be uh, maybe in 
invest more time into, into this hobby again. Like, I know of any eagle eyed guys as uh, spied that we <laughs> Sunstar Escort behind me. That's something that I've always been curious about because uh, they're, very, they're, they're very popular over the model scene. So I finally got myself one. I finally so, sold my soul. <laughs> but, and I also have got a nice wee set of <laughs> wheels to try on it. So stay tuned. I might do a video on that. That's a, 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 something I was meaning to maybe uh, put out on Facebook maybe for if there was anybody out there would maybe had a modified Mark III Escort I don't know maybe the, <laughs> the, I think there's a few of them to maybe s send me a, a few photographs and uh, uh, maybe a, a, just to give examples of modified ones for when I look at that Sunstar Escort or I've never had one of those before so I'll, I'll be curious myself when I get actually taken out of the box I've had it up there a few weeks now uh, and uh, I'll be uh, uh, again uh, coming into the winter time now. I'm going to have more time for being in here in my wee model room and uh, some other things I've d done lately, like uh, this wee Solido <laughs> E36. Uh, I took on that there one day and uh, yeah, I've took on the arches of it and I've got their SD model cartoon and wheels I've got on it. Also, if I get that door open, there you go. Uh, I made a few more wee mods there, like I, I painted the headliner on it. Uh, I, I always think that's the thing Salido models are missing, and uh, it, anno it annoys me when you you look in through the model and you can see the the body coloured uh, door pillars and stuff inside it. And I think that always makes them look more poor. So I had that model completely apart. Also, uh, <laughs> if you can see it there, uh, I took the the front seat side of them out of it and uh, um, they, they were very perched up like sort of like very you know very straight backed and I, I shaved the floor on it and I've moved the seats back a wee bit and I broke the backs on them and re-glued them so they're uh, they're sitting back sort of like <laughs> sort of like I, I don't know like how you, how you would you would lie back in a, the M3 <laughs> you don't sit perched up uh, lying over the steering wheel uh, like an old lady uh, but uh, I, I don't know that's just a wee thing I did there, <laughs> which oh, when I had my time in my model room and I didn't actually put it on the video, it seems that idea, but I had to get back to that. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I had to spend a good, good bit of a, a day or, uh, sorting out the arches and stuff in that idea and then cleaning out the arches and stuff on it, so it was uh, very good to Ferrado to uh, have those arches already sort of set up for you for that model. I've, I've done it again or maybe rambled a bit on too much there. I'll see you next time. I don't know when that'll be or what I'll be making a video about. Maybe that escort. We'll see. <laughs> see you next time. Bye bye.